it in. It's me, Lemon Drop. Oh, and today, let's just let's just not waste anyone. This is not waste any time. Let's get into it. Nuke Stop Five. Just go. Let's go. Here, here, here. Yes, yes, yes. Give us some There's ghost something nukes. in Give the basement. <gasps> Nuke Stop Five viewer Oliver reached out to me about a video he captured in his home in Twin Falls, Idaho. In his email, Oliver says that he recorded a video for his friends with plans to hold a sleepover that same night. In his video, he shows his basement and where he and his friends will be sleeping. Oh, that's awesome! But what happens next is literally like something from a nightmare. What the hell? As Oliver looks inside the bedroom, he sees a tall, dark figure standing inside the room. Right there. Startled there by is. the creepy apparition, Oliver stumbles back before turning on the lights and taking another look. But whatever was standing there seems to have just disappeared. What makes this footage even creepier is that when slowed down, it becomes clear that whoever or whatever this is seems to be wearing a hat. Oh yeah. So if you don't know, across the world, countless people have reported seeing a being known as the quote, Hat Man. Although some claim to have seen the apparition while fully awake, the Hat Man is known to terrorize victims of sleep paralysis. I asked Oliver if he had ever experienced sleep paralysis in his life, and he explained that he actually did but only when he was a child. So could Oliver have actually captured proof of the hat man's existence? Let me know what you think. Out of the mo- Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Kids being haunted by Cad Bane. <laughs> Cad Bane. Like, if, if you're into Star Wars, you know. Like, he rolls up, sharpshooter, Cad Bane. <laughs> and like, can you, can you imagine you're about to go have a sleepover at your buddy's house and he's like recording this video and he sends it to you and you're like, oh, I, I don't want to go there anymore. I don't want to go to your house ever again. <laughs> like, sleepovers for that kid's gone. Like, I don't care how many drum sets you get, no one's going to come over and sleep at your place. Nope. Nope. Yeah, you get you get like the one creepy kid at school. It's like I'll sleep in your place. Let's talk to the ghost, and <laughs> he'll think everything so much worse. Let me drop a proof. That's a ghost. That's a ghost. Sleep paralysis. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, uh, that that's sleep paralysis. That's where that's where you could be on yourself, and <laughs> just you'd be like, God no, but you can't move because you're asleep awake. That sucked. Anyway, okay, here we go. Number blood. Out of Earlier this blood. year, the usually sunny town of Chosica, Peru, suffered heavy That's rains and mudslides that washed through the city. The national news reported on the severe damage left behind and talked to residents who have come together to clean and rebuild the city. But there is Aww. something else in this news report that seems a bit out of place and downright creepy. Desde el asentamiento humano Santo Domingo, Comité 6. Mira la escalera, ¿cómo podría bajar aquí una persona, un anciano? Los niños, ¿cómo podrían bajar? Mira. Did you see it? While the reporter is showing the water and mud rushing down the stairs, behind her, someone or something completely covered in mud appears to follow her. The reporter doesn't notice the bizarre figure and continues up the stairs as she finishes her report. The footage goes viral with many shocked viewers speculating the figure to be some kind of creature or monster. Either way, whoever or whatever it is seems to not be wearing any clothes, have any hair, and seems to have distorted features. Obviously, it seems like any normal person fighting through these conditions would be at severe risk of being washed away in the flood, or at the very least becoming very sick from the muddy, bacteria-filled water. So just who or what is this? Let me know what you think.
Okay, okay, okay. I've seen that one before. So, this is just a guy. Guy got washed away in the mud. And he's like, he's washed all his clothes away, washed all his stuff away, and now he's just trying to find something in the in the mud. He's just trying to find clothes or something. It's a guy. It's just a guy. You see, you can see him. He's right there. There's, there's, there's no ghosty thing about him. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't magically disappear. The camera moved. And she didn't say anything because she didn't want to creep him out and have him start talking to her. She's in the middle of a report. Like, let the poor guy find some clothes to get on with his mud-filled life. Like, jeez. Lemon Drop doesn't improve. That's not a ghost. No. No. Here we go. Move it on. Move it on. Eye of the Gen. <gasps> Eye of the this gen. next creepy video was posted to TikTok without a source. Some people speculate that the original creator is none other than popular Jordanian ghost hunter Ehab Kasmia, who I featured many times. But I've been unable to find the original video, so I can't verify. However, the short video is definitely very creepy. <gasps> One more. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh! That Gee. is horrible. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ah, Bismillah. No. No. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah. فكرت في إشي هون أخوان. ها. سمعت الصوت. Oh my gosh. A face can be seen staring through the crack of the door and whoever is filming, that is they quickly horrible. run around the door, but there's no one there. Some believe the face to be that of a djinn a shape-shifting sinister entity that seems to be toying with the explorer. Now, without the original source and video, we just don't know exactly what's going on here. Is it a gen caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. We need- That- That's a ghost! That's a- Oh my gosh, I don't know about a gen, but that is a ghost! You see, I wasn't blinking, it was just like- Peeking through, peeking through the doorway, like... This <laughs> just wasn't moved. That is so freaking creepy. Like, if, if I know about things not blinking, I'll tell you. Uh, I, I know. I know. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. Ah! Get the hell out of there! <laughs> Let me drop it proves that is a frightening ghost. Oh! Oh, like, like, the worst ones are the ones that just stare at you, like, oh, just give me the shivers, give me the shivers, okay, here we go. Need scary videos, oh. so if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com, email link in the Send description, paranormal Send nightmare. Paranormal investigators and brothers Josh and Sean Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series are contacted by a woman named Cheryl. Cheryl believes a demon is destroying her life. Oh, In a no. tragic series of events, no. Cheryl's father passed away, and not long after, her fiance sadly took the lives of both of her children. Oh, Cheryl God. is now completely oh, alone and lives in absolutely horrible oh. conditions in a That's very sad. bad neighborhood. In 17 years, Josh and Sean say that they've never encountered a case as tragic and dangerous as this. The brothers even feel that their own personal safety could be at risk in this investigation. But nevertheless, they drive to Cheryl's home to investigate. The guys soon begin to understand exactly why Cheryl believes that she might be dealing with a demon. I hate God. I hate God. Holy oh It said, God. I hate God. Why do you hate God? God is gonna destroy you tonight. Where are you at right now? Are you watching us? Worthless bitch. Worthless bitch. 
Who's a worthless? Come on, tell me who's a worthless? I think you're worthless. Possessed. Possessed. Oh, what we want. oh, oh no my. way. That's crazy. Possessed. That's what we want. Oh, something, something, trying? something, something. Turn on. Go out there. Go. Something turned on out there. Is that what you want to do to Cheryl? Are you wanting to possess her? Is that what you're trying to do? Yep. Whoa, air. Something just blew on my neck. Here, you stand on here. Screw this. Yeah, something just blew on my freaking neck. Oh. Right there. What was it? Something just grabbed my fing hip. I did not hit anything. Like right, right when I walked by, something just grabbed hold of my hip. The two brothers receive very ominous replies through their spirit box, and Josh says something grabbed his hip. Sean begins to feel a pain in his stomach and takes a break outside in the car while Josh stays behind. Please listen. No way! Oh Loud bang. Said, please listen, and then a huge freaking bang back there. Okay, that's three times. Three times I've been touched. Why? Why are you touching me? I mean, these are not just like little touches. These are big fucking touches. While Josh is completely alone, he hears two loud bangs coming from somewhere inside Cheryl's home, after which he is touched again. After a short break, the two brothers switch places, and whatever seems to be inside Cheryl's home seems to get very angry. Go to hell, Sean. Holy f f you. F you. All. Oh. You're a you. Oh my god, I'm not going to fucking hell. You are. You're going back where you fucking came from. Holy shit, this is where I need fucking Josh. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I'd say we're definitely dealing with a freaking demon. To end their investigation, they ask Cheryl to sit in the house alone and attempt to communicate with what they now believe to be a demon. Josh and Sean sit outside in the car. What happens next? scares the living out of them. There was a huge black shadow right next to the window. I looked over and there was a huge black shadow right there next to the window. Holy let's just get out of here. This. A strange, unexplained dark mass hits the car window, giving Sean the jump scare of a lifetime. And with that, the Paranormal Nightmare Brothers have had enough. They cleanse the home and leave. Since the investigation, Cheryl says that she has no longer had any paranormal or demonic trouble in her home or in her life. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That that sounds horrible. Like like oh my like, like you you deserve you deserve called a bunch of ghost hunters over because you have a ghost would just piss the ghost off even more. And then like as soon as the ghost hunters are like, damn this place is on it. Let's get out of here. And then they leave like the pissed off ghosts are just stuck there with the person. That's what you would think. You would think. But I'm glad they gave the update that she hasn't been feeling this way since they left. Like, that's good. That's good. And like, oh, her family. Like, oh, oh. That's, that's so sad. That's sad. That's sad. She she deserves to, like, not be haunted after all that. Like, that's horrible. All that stuff happened and then to be haunted? She doesn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve it. I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad they win and I hope what they did helps I hope I hope they stay gone I hope all the, the bad juju's gone oh, there we go there we go okay let me drop a bruise that was a ghost there we go here we go man a ghostly gift 
Cassie O'Malley from Lamont, Illinois, loves monkeys. So when one day she receives a monkey doll as a gift, she's absolutely thrilled. Oh, that's horrible. That is, until she opens the box. No. Oh my god. Did it just god, freaking god, look? This thing just fucking looked at me. Did oh it just god. look? For a split look. second, the creepy monkey doll <gasps> seems to look directly at Cassie. Yup. Yup. Oh Throw my that thing fucking god, I swear to god, garbage. this thing just fucking looked at me. Oh my Cassie says she's tried everything to debunk what she captured on camera, but she hasn't found anything to explain it. After this recording, the doll hasn't stirred up any trouble. So for now, Cassie is keeping the creepy little monkey doll proudly on display in her home. But what would you do with a gift if it did this? Let me know down in the comments. Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, this thing just fucking looked at me. Oh my fucking Not. Okay, 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 okay. I know what this is. I know what this is. This is a puppet who's trying to sneak it, its way into a, a person's home. And the puppet gave up puppet life. It's just it's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bail myself to a person. It's so, like, open the box, and it was like, huh? and it was trying, it was, it was trying to stay perfectly still. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so it's, it's just a puppet, tired of being a puppet. It's like, I'm gonna be a doll from here on out. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, we'll say, check on the light. Check on the light. Lemon drop doesn't approve. Check on the light. Here we go. Here we go. Home alone. Not home alone. Now, unfortunately, Not like a lot of videos these days, Am this next video was shared to Am the I internet home? without a source. The what video shows a woman alone at her home, which is said to be somewhere in Mexico. The woman says that she's been experiencing disturbing, unexplained activity in her home. Hace unos días yo sentí que había algo. Realmente yo estoy solo ahorita. Pero hace rato viene ese cuarto como que una sombra. No sé. Bien, bien, bien. Oh, there's a shadow. Look at it. Ahí se ve algo. Ay, Dios. Yo realmente estoy solo. Bien. Está completamente solo. Cover that window up. Si pueden ver, yo estoy solo. No hay nada, no hay nadie. En casa. No hay nadie. De hecho, hace días yo compré este troll. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Que se supone que aleja oh toda gosh, energía what? negativa. Creepy. Pero ya lleva varias noches pasando esto. A shadow appears through the glass of the closed door of the woman's bedroom. But when she looks, there's no one in the room. Suddenly the figure appears again, but this time outside of the bedroom. Again, the woman hurries out to search her home, but again, she finds nothing and no one to explain the creepy shadow. Unfortunately, without a source, we can only guess what happened to the woman and her creepy shadow visitor. She became the shadow. So after many requests and... <laughs> there you go. It's, it's haunted. It's haunted. Let me drop a bruise. She, got, she bought a nasty juju doll and she brought, she brought home a ghost. That, that happens. That can happen. Careful when you're going thrift shopping or yard sale shopping and you're like dang that thing's weird i'm gonna take it home that, that could happen take home something else <laughs> with you ah let me drop a proof that's close here we go eight months later new stop five merch is back More we've got merch. shirts we've got hoodies we've got coffee mugs we've got stuff for we your got dog we've got stuff we for got, your cat we got stuff oh. for your dog We've got stuff you probably we never even stuff. wanted we to begin we with, but nevertheless, hands. we've got it. So be sure to check out the all-new merch store at nukestop5.com. Let's go. Let's Tunnel go. 
of death. <gasps> Paranormal oh, investigator Kuro happens. from the YouTube channel That's Black right. Story is contacted by a man named Takun about an allegedly haunted abandoned tunnel near where he lives in Wakayama Prefecture, Japan. Wakayama. Oh, the oh, tunnel no. was constructed in the late 1800s and has become infamous for its countless suspicious deadly accidents. Witnesses driving through the tunnel have reported seeing another car with the pale apparitions of a man and woman in the front seat. These apparitions are said to haunt you for the rest of your life if you look them in the eyes. <gasps> another local oh, ghost no. tale says that a woman passed away in a tragic accident in the tunnel. It is said that her spirit appears on the tunnel road dressed all in white. Kuro meets up with Takun, and even though it's storming, they decide to investigate the tunnel together. Oh, the stormy Because of the night. bad storm, no. Takun waits in the car while Kuro explores the tunnel in search of paranormal proof. But strangely enough, it's Takun who's all alone in the car who experiences something truly bizarre. <laughs> A soft female voice can just barely be heard, and in Japanese, the voice seems to whisper, Kairu, which translates to go home. <gasps> Meanwhile, Kuro is all alone somewhere in the middle of the tunnel, and he too experiences something he just can't explain. <laughs> Now it's not audible because of the loud storm, but Kuro swears that he heard a voice and footsteps loud enough to send him running back to the car. What makes this even creepier is that Kuro did in fact catch something on camera not long before he hears the voice and footsteps. But it isn't until he's home that he realizes what he captured. And it's absolutely chilling. Show me, show me, show me, this show me. This is the footage. <gasps> no way! No way, I saw it, I saw it! Oh my gosh. A pale, disfigured face of what looks like a woman can be seen right behind Kuro, and the investigator doesn't see or hear anything. When oh, reviewing his own behind. footage, Kuro wonders if he caught the spirit of the woman who passed away in an accident on camera, and whether she was the one warning them to go, go home. home. Kuro says that this is the most terrifying proof of the paranormal that he's ever captured. But what do you think happened here? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Black Story. Oh my gosh, let me drop a bruise. That's haunted, that's so haunted. Oh, that's so haunted. Oh, get out of that tunnel. Go, run, run with all your might. Like, like, yeah, how boring would a tunnel be for a ghost? The ghost is just sitting there forever. Everyone that swings by is just passing through. Like, like she's, just, she's just looking for anyone to haunt, like, anybody. She's like, finally, two people show up. She's like, yes, go home. Like, like, she finally gets visitors. She's like, get out of here. I don't want anyone here. That's why she picked a tunnel to haunt. No one, no one comes around. Everyone just passes there. Let me drop a bruise. That's a ghost. That's a ghost. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're back. We're back. Caught live on camera. <gasps> God, on camera. Popular TikTok creator Millie George is doing her makeup one night when she decides to go live to chat to her followers. It's late at night and she's home all by herself 
when her viewers spot something in the background that shocks her to her core. Yeah. Okay, so on the live, so that, right, one minute I'm doing my makeup in the mirror, like, like, like this, like literally doing nothing, and then that everyone's like, oh, someone just walked in your house, someone just walked in your house, and I was like, stop winding me up, no one's walked in my house, like, stop winding me up, and then I walked over to the back door, yeah. I'll show you the back door now, look. All right. I walked over to the back door. Yeah. So this is how the camera works. The camera was like this in yeah. my house. And you can see the back door there. Yeah. There's a reflection there. Because yeah. I have an automatic sensor when you walk out my back door that the back door light comes on. Yeah. Oh, I've just got the door again. So like, look, and you can see everything in the garden, okay? Look in the fucking door. Right, I'm now going to show you the CCTV footage on my phone from my fucking live. Have CCTV footage? From the live. I've got it downloaded. I downloaded the live. What of, of, and what was you supposed to have seen? Someone else? This was five nights ago, by the way. Yeah, now yeah. look. Look, look. Okay, so. All right. Yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. I'm watching. Watching. Right, the door opens. Wait. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, no way! How did your door open? Yep. It's what? glass, you can see through the door, look! There's oh, no one there! I'm joking! Bro, this is some, this is like the ring! And then, no. look, it gets worse, it gets worse! It gets worse, mate, I don't know what to do, I'm actually shitting myself. Look! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're lying! No, <laughs> look at the thing. Oh head. my gosh. No, no, you've edited that. You have to have edited that. How have I edited it? It's come yeah, up There's a little line. Chinese kid in there. And then I then walk over. At this point, I then walk in. I walk over to the door because everyone was saying there's someone behind me. And this doesn't show on the light. It's been cut and I'm straight outside again. So it's like the camera stopped working. Bro, why is there a Chinese ghost in your yard, bro? Right? Shocked by what she's seen, Millie shows her friend Tommy what was captured on her live broadcast. She shows that she was facing a wall during her live stream and didn't have eyes on the back door. The door seems to open by itself, yep. and Millie's motion sensing back door light just doesn't turn on for some reason. Then, creepiest of all, a little girl who Millie has never seen before can be seen just walking through the house. Yep. Millie claims that she was home all alone that night and has no idea who or what this is. So, what do you think? Is this a real ghost caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Zen yep, that's a ghost. That's a ghost. 100%. Not a 100%. Let me drop a bruise. What I want to know is there's a dude sleeping on the couch the whole time that dude's there talking like dude don't you have anywhere else to go and talk like the dude's just trying to get some z's his buddy and and he all brings his camera in the room hey man they have some blah, 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 blah. oh my god it's a ghost like he's just being so loud and the dude on the couch is trying to get some rest oh roommates am i right am i right roommates Oh, okay, the that's a ghost. Here we go. Sanhaven Sanatorium. San Haven in the early Sanatorium. 1900s, the Sanhaven Sanatorium in North Dakota opened its doors as a treatment center for tuberculosis patients. In later years, the sanatorium became a mental asylum. But the oh. Sanhaven Sanatorium soon gained a reputation for horrible mistreatment of patients. That's horrible. The hospital was forced to close in the 1980s. It is estimated that over a thousand people have lost their lives inside these walls, including a 17-year-old boy who fell down an elevator shaft in 2001. Oh my in a tragically ironic twist, the boy was actually on a ghost hunt in the building at the time. The abandoned oh, structure no. is falling apart and it's fairly dangerous to wander around inside. A paranormal investigator Ian from the popular YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is determined to explore the sanatorium in hopes of capturing evidence of the paranormal. It's late at night as Ian begins his investigation. Things almost immediately start to get weird. Look what, look what. What's that sound?
Oh yeah. Okay, those were footsteps. Oh, Damn these stairs. It's what flight of stairs. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> it's just one flight. Ian is a bit shaken up by the strange unexplained footsteps, but he tries to keep calm as he continues to explore. Okay, as creepy as that was, I did feel a gust of wind when that happened. Okay, and I'm okay. I'm pretty okay. sure that's what it was. All right, all right. I like the honesty. I appreciate the honesty. See, look at that. See? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Still creepy as hell. A door creepily opens by itself, but is Ian is quick to point out it was just the wind. However, then Ian starts to hear odd noises from somewhere nearby. He goes to check it out, and something happens that he simply can't explain. Something truly chilling. Hello? Whoa, what was that? I, I saw something. What did I see? Dude, I think I just saw something. Oh, an orb. Could you appear like that again? God, dude, it is cold over here. Must be all that wind. <gasps> there was another one. Oh my God, I just went into that room. Dude, it just flew into here. What the? Dude, that was crazy. I just saw you. Did you just go into this room? Yup, it's all good, it's all good. Oh, I heard it, I heard it. I need it. to go in there now. Yup. sound like a woman talking in here. Dude, that was so crazy. I heard that with my own ears. It does, it does, it does, it does. Could you speak again? I think I just heard you. Okay, you really spooked me there. I did not expect that. Did you just knock on a wall? Could you knock on it again? She is communicating with me right now. Ian is excited about what he's just captured and he believes a spirit is trying to communicate with him. But as he continues to explore, something happens that quickly turns his excitement into pure terror. Oh, oh no. Hello. Oh my God. Oh, okay, okay. Oh God, dude. The investigator is shaken up by a disturbing plea for help. Especially since he's near the elevator shaft where 22 years ago, another ghost hunter fell to his death. 
but Ian is determined to capture more paranormal evidence, so he continues to explore the creepy abandoned hallways and rooms. Eventually, he decides to take some photos down one of the long hallways, and things start to get creepy. I think I might try to take pictures down this hallway. A lot of people say they see shadow figures. Basically in all areas of this place. I'm hoping to catch one in a photo. Like a Pokemon! Pokemon ghost! Oh, brilliant! If there's anybody down this hallway, could you appear for me? What was that? It sounded like a breath. Was that you? Okay, I'm hearing noises all around me right now. Whoa, I think oh, I got something on here. Figure. Dude, that's like go. a figure. Oh my god, and it's gone. Dude, I just caught something. It was by that window. Holy shit. Dude, that was crazy. I just got like a photo. Yep. Holy crap. Are you standing by this window? Holy crap. That was so freaking cool. Could you appear again? No <gasps> way! Whoa, no dude! Way. I just got that in the freaking camera! Holy crap. A disturbing white figure appears in a photo, and then Ian catches a bizarre white mist on camera in the exact same window. So did Ian capture evidence of the paranormal? Could the ghostly coughing, pleas for help, and the unexplained apparitions belong to the patients that died in the sanatorium? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation with even more bizarre paranormal moments over on the YouTube channel Yup, let me drop a bruise. That's a ghost. That's a hundred percent a ghost. Like, yup, yup. Wait, was that the last video? Yeah. Or was there one more? I think there's one more. Anyway, like, that's a hundred percent a ghost. Like, all those, all those coughing. <coughs> oh, like, that sucks. You know what that tells me? You know what that tells me? You know what that tells me, Internet? Is that whatever disease you die with, you still have when you're dead. <laughs> like, all these tuberculosis patients, they're all coughing in, in, like, real life. And then you go to the afterlife, and they're still... <clears throat> oh, like, you don't get better? Like, like you, that doesn't go away? Like, you still have it when you go? That sucks. That sucks. I'd be pissed. I better not die with anything. Like, like just, like, like horrible. Like, like I die you know, sneezing. I... I I sneeze and cough myself to death in the afterlife. I'm just like, ha choo! Ha choo! Like, I don't want to be a spirit that can't shut up! How can I haunt you? <laughs> that's, that's a, a little drop of bruise. That's all the orbs, all the afterlife. Okay, okay, here we go. I, I think there's one more. I think there's one more. If there's not, we'll find out. Here we are. Midwest Ghost Hunter. From above, yeah, one more, one more, one from above. a security from above. camera in San Vicente, Chicaloapan, Mexico, What's captures about? something very strange in the middle of the night. Aliens! It's aliens! It's aliens! <gasps> what the crap? <gasps> the dogs! What the crap?
A strange figure seems to fall oh, down from the sky, frightening a pack of dogs as it makes its way across the parking lot, and then it almost seems to change into an odd black figure. The footage went viral with many viewers wondering just what this bizarre shape could possibly be. Some speculated that it might be something paranormal, or possibly even something alien. But just what do you think it is? Are you kidding me? Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, that's a ghost! That's that's not an alien, that's a hundred percent a ghost, because it's you see all like the misty thing just like floating like uh, like coming down. I think the dogs the dogs reacting is like that's the tell for me. The, the dogs are like, shit, there's a ghost, ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> And they all they all came to attention that we must protect our Dirt patch, <laughs> they're all barking at the ghost. The ghost is like, "Geez, gosh, fine, I'll go somewhere else." It just mystifies over here and then transforms into a person ghost. Oh shit! You know what that means, Internet? You know what that means? That means we can fly as ghosts. <laughs> we we become ghosts. We can fly. We can fly. We can transform into people, <gasps> just like. Vampires, <laughs> just like vampires, we can fly and then we can transform into people. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we we know now when we die, we keep the diseases we have, and we can fly and turn into people. I don't know about you. I think it's a pretty good trade-off. <laughs> I think I think that's it's fair. I think that's fair. I always wanted to fly. Can't wait till I'm dead. <laughs> that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, Internet. I hope you have a ghost-filled day. Oh, let me have a great day. Okay. Bye, bye, bye.